Welcome back to the second part of the um, Google Apps overview. Um, uh, for this part, I want to give you an overview of how to access your calendar and how to use it. Um, again, I want to stress that this is only an overview on what tools we have under our disposal, and this is not a tutorial. And most probably, the tutorial will be come um, in the next few weeks now we can exit the calendar right from your inbox and this will take you directly to the calendar I'm going to go back to my mail to show you how it's done so um, let's say this is your inbox you go to calendar okay so this is the calendar view and I'm viewing this on a week basis. You can view it on month, four days, or agenda. Um, if you want to view the four day, it means that uh, you have to follow the uh, time frame of every day. Now, I usually use it for month, but when I uh, prepare my uh, lesson plans, I use the agenda view where I attach a Google Docs for every day I do the uh, lesson plan and we're going to get to that later uh, let's go back to the month view of the calendar now uh, in calendar you're able to uh, do more than one calendar you can do 5, 10, 20 calendars you can do one calendar for quizzes, one calendar for um, tasks, one calendar for homework Okay. Uh, but I prefer that you don't uh, have a lot of calendars because these these will confuse your students. Um, actually, I have one calendar now, which is uh, the main calendar, which is displayed here. Um, <coughs> you can add other calendars um, by <coughs> clicking on Add here. This will add a new calendar. Now here you have to um, to configure your calendar, the name, the organization, the start genre, and the description of the calendar. Um, let's say I want to uh, start a new calendar named um, Homework Assignments. Okay, and the yeah, the description, of course, the location Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and for now, I don't want to share it with anyone, but if you want to share it, you can click this one. You can make it public for everyone to see and view the events. And you can enter the email addresses for whom you want to share. You can share it with all these students. Okay. And then you click Create Calendar. It gives you a warning that this is a public, and are you sure? So click Yes, and you can view your calendar here. Now I'm going to display only this calendar here in this case. I want to have a month view. Let's say, for example, I want an assignment. I want to add an event on, let's say, May 1. I click on May 1 and edit event details. Uh, we want to add this event that you have a grammar homework. This is the title. And this is on that date, same day, or we can uh, extend it from this day to let's say after four days right and <coughs> where of course is in the uh, school it's a homework assignment calendar you can choose whatever calendar you want and the uh, description describe the kind of homework and you can add any attachment that you like from your google docs spreadsheets or whatever you want okay <coughs> You can set a reminder for your students. Uh, send by email, let's say um, 10 hours before the, or let's say um, 10 hours before the assignment. And you can add another assignment, which is a pop up reminder. And um, let's say I want to add it also. Um, two hours before the deadline of the assignment. Uh, here you can add the email of the guests 
uh, in this case these are your students you can add their emails uh, now you, you don't have to add them all for these students emails manually I'm gonna show you how to do that through Google groups okay and then you click save in this case it shows on the calendar that you have a grammar homework from May 1 to May 4 which is uh, or will be um, shared with the students who are going to receive email that they have an, a homework after two days or before what and this is the overview of the uh, Google Calendar in the next part um, I'm going to give you an overview of Google Docs also accessible from the left hand side at the top and actually this is the uh, the focus of our online training course uh, but here I'm gonna give you only an overview of how what Google Docs is after that I'm gonna give you also a glimpse of what Google Sites is and how to access sites and then how to create uh, and add members into your groups so it can uh, function as an emailing system or a discussion board so off to Google Docs